And tonight, with a long-time unsolved case, 20 years after the murder of an Evansville woman, family members are still searching for answers tonight, and there could be a possible break in the case. Eyewitness News Noah Lotza with the latest developments. Elizabeth was a great person. She had a huge heart, and she she loved everyone. Elizabeth Bannister was found stabbed to death inside her Washington Avenue apartment in Evansville in January of 2000. More than 20 years later now, Elizabeth's sister, Sarah Stewart, who was just 14 at the time, says she needs closure now more than ever. She would help everyone before she would help herself. She didn't deserve what she had done to her. I mean, nobody does, but she, she didn't deserve that. Sarah has been active on social media, creating a Facebook page, working to bring justice for her sister and peace of mind, something she says the Evansville Police Department hasn't given her. Um, do I think they were doing their job then? No. Looking back, absolutely not. Um, my sister, and I will say this a million times, she, her death matters like anybody else's. I'm calling, I'm leaving messages, nobody's responding to me, nobody's calling me back, um, nobody's, pretty much I felt like nobody's even acknowledging the fact that I'm trying to get something done here. Um, well, the lady at the window, she was like, well, who was your detective? I don't know. I don't know. Sarah says she hasn't heard from a detective since September of 2019. But now, after all these years, she says there may be a potential break in the case. I got a phone call, and there is a possible, um, a possible suspect that can close this case. She says, according to a private investigator, the suspect is a known serial killer and currently in prison. But Sarah says the thought of closure also brings more sadness. And I think it just makes you relive it all over again, and it's. It's a heavy weight back on your shoulder. After more than two decades of family hopeful for justice, something that could be here sooner than later. That this is the break that we needed and um, that this person truly was the one that did it. And I'm able to kind of feel like I did what I promised her I would do. Never give up. In Evansville, Noah Alata, Eyewitness News. Now, as for the Evansville Police Department, officials say they are aware of the potential suspect and are still gathering additional details and information.